Hey there, Kingdom Builders, Count Up Nation. It's your girl, Danny Royal from dannyroyal.com. And I wanted to share something with you all that I gathered from service on Sunday. Typically, I don't go to services on Sundays because my church personally uh, has services on Fridays. But my pastor ended up having to speak at a, a guest church. And oh my gosh, let me tell you how... The word was so profound. And you know how when God shares something with you so good that you got to share it, you have to spread the word. You can't contain it. You you got to let it out. OK, so this is my let out. OK, so one of the things that he was talking about, which was actually the main thing was dying. And when we think of death, we think of death in a negative connotation of that word. Oftentimes, because no, nobody wants to die. But let me tell you how in Christ, for you to live is Christ and for you to die is gain. But I'm going to get into these scriptures. But let me tell you how somebody needs to see you die. And the problem between the world and the church is that there is no distinction between what that looks like. There is a line that needs to be drawn in the sand. And the way that the line is drawn in the sand is that when God's people actually die to themselves, when they sacrifice, deny their flesh for what God wants. Okay. Now I know some people might be like, well, why I got to deny this flesh for what God wants. Let me tell you that the closer you get to God, the more you want to the more you want to do things his way. The more you want to please him, the more you want to serve him, the more that he begins to change your heart, the more he begins to change your mind. Let me tell you believers how somebody's somebody somebody somebody's freedom and new life is attached to the death that takes place in us by way of the spirit. We should be dying daily to this flesh. In this flesh holds no good thing, let me tell you. We sin by word, thought, or deed. But let me let me just stay here for a moment. One of the things that he said was graves open up when you die. I need you to just hear that. Graves open up when you die. The reason why graves open up when you die, and I need you to catch, you to catch this. I need you to catch this in the spirit because those dead places and people that people could not get to, God will use you to get to those dead places and people so that be, th through your testimony, through your story, and through your lifestyle because they've seen you die. Not a spiritual death, but a spiritual, I mean, not a literal death, but a spiritual death. When you are able to deny one's flesh for what it is that God wants, that was why Jesus died. He sacrificed himself so that we could live. And so it is our jobs to sacrifice ourselves so that the people out there who are looking for a savior can be saved to give them hope in knowing that God will never leave you. Neither will he forsake you and he will be with you even until the ends of the earth. Sometimes you may be the only hope. Sometimes you may be the only salvation that somebody gets and through the way that you die can, can be the reason and the cause why somebody lives. And if you will go with me, if you have your Bibles before you, I just want to read a few scriptures that just correlate with what it is that I'm saying. And maybe you don't have your Bibles before you because I get people be in different settings and things when they're listen to, listening to these videos. But literally jot these scriptures down. Don't take my word for it. Never take my word for it. Always test the spirit. See if it's of God. Test my spirit. Test his word. Take it back to the Lord in prayer. But read the word for yourself, okay? Yourselves, okay? And I want you to turn with me to Matthew 17. Nope, Matthew 16, starting at verse 24. And it reads, Then Jesus said unto his disciples, 
If any man will come after me, come after me, come after me. Let him deny himself. You can't even gain Jesus without denying yourself. You have to put all pride aside. You have to put all malice, envy, jealousy, whatever it is that you're dealing with aside just so that he can work through you the way that he wants to. He said, if any man will come to me, I mean, come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. 25, for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. That means you have to die to what it is that you feel like is true and right. That means you got to lose your way for God's way. Lord, not my will, but your will be done. If you seek God and you have a desire and a heart for him, Lord, it, it should be a Lord. Not my will, but your will be done. And then it says, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake. That means you can lose your life for Christ's sake. The same way he lost his life for you. You, you have the ability by dying to oneself, denying your flesh, accepting him as Christ, as your Lord and Savior, right? He said, so whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. You now become found in God. Talk about the lost and found. You were lost back there. But let me tell you how he brought you out of, out of, out of the dark places and he um he put you placed you into this marvelous light the moment that you said lord i do the moment you said not my will but your will be done and what you do is you give him the ability to take charge and to reign and rule over those times where you feel like lord god this one did that to me and that one did that to me and lord i just really need you to get them understand that when you die to yourself you're not even caring about how he gets them you're like lord change their hearts you're like, Lord, I know I lost everything, but thank you because more is coming. And you have to understand that God is a God of recompense. He is a God of vengeance. He is a just God. So he'll handle every situation accordingly. But how will you know that? You have to die to oneself to know that. You have to die to, you, to yourself. And then I want you to go with me to Philippians. I have another scripture for you all. Philippians chapter one, and we're going to start at verse 20. And it says, according to my earnest expectation and my hope. And this is Paul talking that in, in nothing, I, in nothing shall I be ashamed. Hold on. Let, yeah. But that with all boldness and always. So now. Also, Christ shall be magnified in my body. That means you got to die in order for him to do that. Whether it be my life or by death. Whether it be by life or by, by death. Are you willing to say, Lord, for God, I live, for God, I die. We're approaching times where you're going to have to literally choose you this day who you will serve. You won't be able to serve two masters. You will have to love one and hate the other. And in order to love the Lord your God with all your heart, because he says, those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. That means you have to die to oneself. You can't come to him the way that you, that, the way that you were. Let me tell you, when you come to God the way that you are and then you die, you won't stay there. You won't stay there. So let me go and read. Continually 21 and it says for to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. This is Paul talking. He said, but if I liveth in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. That's all you getting offered up. Whatever you do in this flesh, that's what you're going to get. Even afterlife. Okay. Yet what I shall choose, I will not. So let me tell you, so in order to live for Christ, you have to die to yourself, right? And sometimes that's hard to do. Let me tell you how that's not easy all the time. But the closer you get to God, the, the more you say in his word, the more you, you fast and pray, the more 
more you seek him and you press in, let me tell you how he will meet you exactly where you are and you won't have to wonder about a thing. I don't know about you, but I want to wake, I want to awaken some graves and some folk. I want to awaken some graves and some people because there are some dead places that needs to be awakened. There is somebody that needs to know that there is life after this. There is life after that divorce. There is life after that miscarriage. There is life after, after that pain is life after that bad decision. But you must die to yourself in order to experience what true living looks like. And yes, you can go out here and, and take on the cares of this world and, and think that that's living. But I can assure you that there are, there are people who have everything and have nothing at all. There are people who has everything and still searching for something. And that's because they have not died. Somebody is waiting on your death. And this word specifically is for the believers. It's for the believers. And maybe you're not a believer and you're listening to this word. Understand if you want to live a full and fruitful life, you must die to yourself. I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, but I promise you it'll be worth it. I love you all so much. I'm your girl, Danny Warrior from DannyWarrior.com. And... Thank you for all of my subscribers. You guys, please keep sharing out these videos. Share it with somebody who needs it most, needs to hear it most. Continue to give the, the, the videos a like, you know, a, a comment, you know, because I try my best to respond to everybody because I love you guys. You, we are a family. And as God gives me the opportunity and ability to do so, I'm going to, to take pride in everything that I do here, you know, and that's just being honest, straight like that, you know, with my life, with you guys, with God, you know, even as I go along this journey of being pushed and in, pushed into my calling, because that's not easy. But let me tell you, I'm willing and my heart is pure and, and the time is now. I don't have time to wait. OK, that's for somebody. You don't have time not to die. I have to die to myself. And let me tell you how I've had my own struggles and things that has separated me from God, but it'll never separate me from his love. And I had to make up in my mind, God, I love you so much that I'm willing to die to this flesh to get what it is that you want for me. Even if I got to let people go, that's for someone. Even if I got to uproot myself from where I know that's for someone. Honey, I've been making several adjustments behind the scenes that y'all don't even know about. That's because I've had to die so that God can live for real. And so that I can answer my call. I can't run from this. <laughs> Let me tell you. And it's not for the weak. But I must do it with God's strength because I can't do it on my own. That's for somebody. I love you all so much. And I'll see y'all on the next video. Have a blessed day. Peace.